Hello, it's Stephanie with Copy Paper Scissors. And today I am going to be making some tags and a journaling card or yeah, tag and journaling cards. And my ephemera is going to be made from stamps. I'm not all of it, but some of it. And so I'll put a stamped image on each one of these. So the stamps that I have used are, there's this one. Most often I get my stamps from secondhand stores. So this is one that I guess they used to sell at Big Lots. And um, I don't think it had been used before because I haven't cleaned it yet, but there was no ink at all on it. So I think that I'm the first, I don't know, maybe, maybe they did. I see some here, not that that matters. But anyway, we're gonna use this one and this one and this one let's see I got it this one at a thrift store or yard sale the information on it was just this PXS Petaluma California K683 so there's that one and then there's this one and stamp craft and then there's a number there 440h24 imagine it's pretty old and then this one is a stampin up i found this at a thrift store quite a while back and it came with it so i don't know if um I don't know how they do Stampin' Up. Like, is there a number for the series? I don't know, but it's Stampin' Up from 2004. I already did my stamping, so you guys uh, didn't have to watch that. And so I will now show you how the images turned out. So this is the little cherub dude. And then I have this one. I love this. I was really pleased with how this one came out. And this one here. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so we are going to decorate these up. Let me get these out of the way. And I already chose stuff to put on them um, because, man, I just cannot, I cannot make a decision quickly <laughs> to save my life. I don't know. Maybe if it was to save my life, I'd say it doesn't matter, but not when it comes to this. Okay, so this is from the um, collage master boards that I made recently. And we're going to do some inking. And my thing is falling apart and I, I don't have any more. I actually went to, I don't think I have any more. I'm not going to dig right now. I'm pretty sure I looked and I don't. But um, I went to Michael's over the weekend. I have no idea if you guys are on camera. Not that inking really matters, but at least there's something to look at, right? Um, <clears throat> I was at Michael's. <clears throat> And all they had were the felt ones. And I've never used the felt ones before. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I figured I just need to order some. Um, I know they also have those rounded ones. I just don't know if it makes much difference. Okay, so there's that inked. Now these, I don't want to um, accidentally really smudge up the image. Um, with this and so I'm just barely getting the edge and I don't even know if it makes any difference at all but <clears throat> man I don't know what's wrong I haven't been talking I guess um as I was sitting here figuring out what I was going to do I kept trying to decide if I was going to ink it or not and I thought well I don't know and so maybe if I just do the tiniest little bit then I'll have done it but not ruined it. So we're gonna just go ahead and ink around everything. 
So in, in the last video, I don't remember what it was. I made something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was telling you guys about. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, if you can't laugh at yourself. But I was telling you guys about how I was working downstairs and um, I... I you know, and I just can't remember sometimes if I get the whole story out or not. And then sometimes people's comments are like, oh, I guess I guess I got the whole story out, but I don't remember even saying it, which is scary. But I was talking about um, reorganizing some things. I was, it was like everything, books, shelves, and all that, you know, like actually taking things from one bookshelf and putting it in another and that takes a while sometimes. Um, anyway, so, and it was because my husband had gotten a new TV, but then also his daughter was coming for a visit. And so I was trying to get things set up. I think I told you that part that, you know, so that the TV wasn't just leaning up against the wall in the guest bedroom. So all of that is done and everything. But then... Um, so then yet, was it yesterday she was supposed to be here? What's today? Thursday. Yes. So she was supposed to be here yesterday. And then all that stuff with the airlines and airports. And I don't watch the news, but my husband told me about it. So her flight got canceled and everything. She's actually now going to be coming on Saturday. So so that's good. She's still coming. I didn't do it for nothing. Um, yeah. So there's, there's the end of that story if I didn't tell you. She is still coming. Okay. So on this collage paper, I, because of the journal that this is in, I don't particularly like this paper. I tried inking it a little bit and I still didn't like it. And I thought, well, I'll just cover it up. So I'm using some of the paper that Billy at Crafting Cake with Billy sent me. Um, so thank you, Billy. And I just thought I could cover it. So... I am going to just glue it, you know, right in that area. There's a teeny bit showing. I'm okay with that. So we're going to go ahead and glue that down. Also, I have to apologize if um, when if you watch the video of the winnings that I got from Billy, if it sounded like I didn't like some of the... Uh, the ribbon that she sent. I said that it looked like some carpet that was on a TV show, but, but I loved that carpet. So I love the ribbon and, um, I just, I, it didn't occur to me that what I was saying was going to make it maybe sound like I didn't like it. Uh, oh my goodness. It makes me <laughs> really like kind of sad to think that I would, um, hurt Billy's feelings because that would absolutely not be my intention at all. And, and I love that florals are my thing. Oh my goodness. I love florals. Um, so I absolutely love it and I absolutely will use it. So thank you again, Billy. And I am sorry. Okay. So that covers up that, which I didn't like too much. I mean, there's a tiny bit showing, but I'm okay with that. Now this one, I, I wasn't sure I was thinking, um, what will it look like to use two stamped images on one tag? And so if you notice, this has like the stems and a little um, tied ribbon. I decided after playing with it quite a bit to cut that off. So you can stamp something out and then only use, you know, part of it. You can get rid of it. I did try and use that somewhere else and it just didn't look right. So, um... Here's what we're going to do. I'm adding this and I'm going to put it where it covers up this little line where the collage is happening. And then also, so it doesn't, it doesn't have quite enough room. So then if I cut this off, it's going to have like this big white space here. So I'm actually going to cut that little curly Q off and you know, nobody will ever know. Okay, so let's glue this down.
getting glue on all these little bitty spots though. Cutting out all those little base spots, that was a lot of fun. So I'm going to go kind of straightish across the thing, get that glue up, and then I'll trim what sticks off. A little glue on my fingers. So I'm just going to turn it over and see what I see poking out on the other side. And then before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and ink where I just cut, just to make sure. Okay, and now, and now, I want to add some more stuff. So I'm going to be kind of doubling these things up, and I'm going to be adding this up here. And I think that that looks fine right where it is. So I'm just going to mark this so I get it back. And that'll be covered. That mark will be covered. So it's fine. So we're having lots of rain. Lots of really um, slippery roads. I am so thankful that I don't have to get out in them every day on them. Um, yeah, it's, it's crazy out there. We keep on having, well, we're, we've been getting lots of rain lately and then we're also getting fog really bad. So then the fog freezes. And this morning my daughter went to go to school and she stepped out on the back porch and, um, she turned, came back in. She's like, I am not walking on that porch. And so we went and checked. I mean, it was just like solid ice. She went a different direction to the, where she parks her car anyway. Squish that down. Okay, so then I'm going to see where I want this. And I think I want it kind of like that. So I'm going to turn it over. Let's see again. Yeah. And then make a line and cut it off. Just add a little ink there. Yeah, so last night, um, I did have to get out in it last night, and on the way home, the car started slowing down. When I was on it, it, it didn't seem to have gotten slick yet, but maybe I'm wrong because there was an incident, an accident. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but everybody started slowing down, and, um, we, you know, we weren't sure what was going on, and then we saw the cop car lights so something had happened, but I was looking on Facebook at the, we, I don't know if this is kind of a thing everywhere, but we have on Facebook, there's things where you can post what the roads are like so that people know, like if they don't have to go somewhere, they won't if they know what the roads are like. And so that's always kind of nice. And then this one, you guys, I thought I would just add down here so there's a little bit everywhere. Let's see where I want to cut it. I think I'll add that, keep that little curly on there. 
So there were two cars, but they weren't, they weren't touching each other. One of them had gone off the road and oh my goodness, you have to understand the road um, to my house is just a two lane road with a hill. There are very few places that you can get off the road. And if you are off the road, you're in sort of ditch and woods and stumps and rocks. It's not like it's an okay place to be off the road. So I'm not sure what happened if they slid off. It was on a corner and so I don't know. But then there was another car on the side of the road right in front of the cop car. Who knows? I mean, you guys, people are driving crazy around here like in angry ways. And so who knows, maybe they were having road rage and after each other, I don't know, but there was a cop there, so I guess that's good. Okay, so now we have a bit in two different places and I think it looks really cute. And then I am going to use, um, I think I'm gonna use, some polka dot paper. We'll see how it looks, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, I, I think all black will be pretty boring. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna do polka dot. Yeah, so I don't really know for sure what happened, but um, the roads around here lately are just not fun at all. And like I said, I'm glad I don't have to get out on them. If I don't want to. Oh, you know what I, I need to do first? I need to cut my, I was going to make it a tag. So I got this new thing. I saw it on Darcy's channel, Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And um, it does like these corner punches. This is the um, thing for it. It's from Amazon. And that's the number and so I tried it and this one here I like to turn it around and make sure I'm getting it where I'm supposed to get it that's not all the way dry but it cuts the corner let's go ahead and ink it so yay and um you know, that way I don't have to do it. I mean, still sometimes I probably will do it without that thingy, but I don't have to. Okay, so there's one. I really like it. I like how, you know, there's... Anyway, I think it turned out cute. Get that out of the way. Okay, so now let's do another one. So this one... I have all my little foamy bits from my thing. So this one is the lady. And so let's go ahead and ink around her. Again, I'm just gonna kind of touch the edge very, very lightly. I don't wanna mess up the image by darkening it too much. and it's not necessary. I'm telling you, I, I wish um, I didn't have that gotta ink it feeling because there are lots of people that don't ink things and it looks great. I don't know why I have this problem. This, I am going to use this one. This is the We Are Memory Keepers one. I love this thing. And we'll ink it. So when people come to visit, the thing that freaks me out the most is feeding them. 
I can hardly feed my own family. My creativity is shot. So I'm like, what on earth? And it's, you know, nice if they they will, you know, tell me specifically, oh, I always eat blah, blah, blah for breakfast. Oh, perfect. I'll go get blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but um, a lot of times people are like, oh, whatever. <laughs> like, no. I kind of missed the edge on this a little bit. So, yeah, I don't know. I know she likes coffee because she said, will there be coffee <laughs> to my husband? Okay. And then I'm, the color I chose on this one is kind of to bring in the kind of tying things together. I printed off a bunch of these labels and, but I've been using them. So I'm kind of running out of the colors and I don't want to print them again. So I think it works when it's all together. I think it works out just fine. And the labels uh, were a, I believe they were pink monarch prints labels, I believe. Okay. I think it's all inked. Keep all the yucky stuff over there, hopefully. And then it's just the layering and figuring out where you want things. Something. I was going to do something. Oh, where did I put those? Oh, there they are. Okay. And then so to me this kind of goes with this I don't know if you're seeing the same thing I'm seeing but I'm gonna stand up and look at my placement and then I was thinking I wanted to add something up in here ink around that Hopefully it's kind of where I wanted it. When you have things layered, sometimes it's really hard to get them right where you want them, um, back where you want them. Everything is so slippery and all of that. Stand up again. Okay, I'm gonna move this. And then I am going to mark these so that I know where to put them. Ish. I think this one goes down first. of where I wanted it and I'm pretty sure all those marks will be covered. Which one does this? I think it goes like that. These flowers are not from a kit and they are flowers that were on the Graphics Fairy website that I copied and pasted and then did as much 
cutting away with, you know, like when you crop things. And then I fussy cut them from like a, a bigger picture is what I'm trying to say. So there's no kit for those. Same with a lot of the butterflies that, that I use. Not these current current ones because those did come from this kit. But a lot of times I just find things on the Graphics Fairy website. Okay, and then this one, let me get some of this glue off there. I'm trying to think of something else exciting to tell you about, but I can't think of a thing. My daughter comes home yesterday and she was really frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> my my daughter is one of those you know at, at in school the there are those who like to interrupt the teacher be funny get attention in that way and then there are the ones that get mad at those people and actually say something <laughs> my daughter does I mean according to what she tells me she does she tells me that she tells them to knock it off because she actually wants to listen to what the teacher's saying, so she knows how to do her work, you know? And oh, so she said, she's like, Mom, I, I think I told you recently about the senior project that they have to do, and it's done. It was time to get turned in. She turned hers in on the day it was supposed to be turned in. But there are other students, even though they've been working on this since the beginning of the school year, and the teachers told them exactly what they're supposed to do. There are kids that are now going, so now what are we supposed to do? Like they're finally taking it seriously. And, and so then she's having to sit and listen again. Now, even though she's already finished and she gets very frustrated with that. So she was irritated about that. And um, I'm sure the teacher's not happy about it either. But anyway, so then she says, oh, and you know how they pick people when you're a senior? They'll pick people like most likely to this or or known for this or known for that. And I was like, uh oh, <laughs> she, I thought she was going to be, you know, nominated or chosen, you know, for being like teacher's pet or something. <laughs> but um it was, she's like, I totally don't get it, mom. They have a, a boy and a girl win each category and she got best car. So, and which is really funny because her car is just an old Honda. I think it's a 2006, I think it's a 2006 Honda CRV. I think that's what it is. It's just an old car. And I don't know if they think it's cool because it's nearly as old as they are and they think that's old or something. I'm not sure, but she's like, Mom, I got chosen for the best car for girls. And she goes, there are people with really cool cars, so I do not understand that. But after school, the person taking pictures for the yearbook was supposed to meet her at her car so that she could get her picture taken with her car. He never showed up. So she was frustrated about that too. Anyway. So hopefully she'll manage to get them. Okay, so there's that one. And then we have one more. This one will be a little faster, I think. Let's go ahead and... Um, I'm... Oh, never mind. I'll do it here. A lot of times I'll pull out my trash can and I'll do my work over my trash can, but I guess I don't have to do that. I did, so I've already made these because, you know, I'm making two journals. So I made some already and then I figured I would do them. After I figured them all out, I would make them with you guys um, on camera. So I have already sewn around some to show you, ouch, ouch, 
and we'll put them in the journal, find a place for them in the journal so we can see how they look. Okay, make sure all that's out of the way. Okay, so I think what I want to do is have it on this side because this is so light over here and I figure the butterfly will kind of pop. Oh, I need to do this one. get this where we want it and then I'll mark it I'll mark it here because it will definitely be covered get it straight. Okay. This one looks cool even just without it just having the way it's cut out <laughs> really ragged. I think that looks really neat. So I figure my daughter will enjoy her college classes because I don't I don't think kids act up in college classes. They didn't when I was there that I can remember. I mean, there might have been some classes every now and then that were a little bit less structured um, that somebody might have been told to knock it off. But it's just not the same environment. You know, usually people are there because they want to be. And so they don't. It makes my daughter sound like a real fuddy-duddy. She's not. It's just that, you know, she wants to be told once and then do her work and be done with it. She doesn't want to drag things out forever. So. I'm telling you, I'm glad I'm not in school. Some of the projects that they have to do are just ridiculously involved. Oh my goodness. We just had assignments, you know, read the chapter, answer the questions. Practice these math problems at school, go do a sheet of them at home. Read the chapter, take a test, you know? Um, but now they're like, solve world hunger. And then, make a presentation and it better be real close to solving actually solving it and you're going to be working with five other students and your presentation is a powerpoint and i'm like paper pencil book <laughs> sounds good to me okay so these are the ones that i made previously and they're all sewn around And then this one. So then you can see what how it looks different on um, like a different collaged page. And then this one. So let's put them, the ones that are sewn around, let's put them in a journal. And I still don't have the signature sewn in. Of course. So let's see. Um, there I had in mind where I wanted to put things. And I honestly don't know that I still remember. But 
Okay, I know this one I think looks good here because the um, the little cherub thing shows. And then maybe I can put like a cherub up there or something to decorate that. So there's that one. And then I know where I want to put this. It's in one of those envelopes, um, the envelope page that we made. Let's see where to it go. It's here. I know it is. Here it is. So after I got off with you that day that we were making these envelope ones, I did this one too, but this one is a top pocket. So this just goes down in here. It's getting caught on the collage. Okay. And then this one... I'm not sure. I have to find like the right coloring. This is too long. Not the right coloring, not the right coloring. Oh no, maybe I do know. There was a page, this page. It's like, just this little pocket. I think I like that. Okay. All right, you guys. So there we go. So then I will sew around these other ones and add them to the journal. And then I only have a million more things to make. So fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.